Hi guys! Today I'm going to share all of the things that I need to take along for Moxie when we go camping together. So Moxie rides on the back of my motorcycle, so I have to make sure that what I take is really just the essentials. I don't have that much extra space, so everything that I take for her has to have a reason. The first thing that we need for Moxie is her collar, her leash, and her poop bag holder. Those are the essentials that we need to make sure that we have with her because they're places we have to go where she has to be on leash and she can't just run free. We have to make sure that we have something where we can pick up her poop. And we want to have her collar that has an ID tag ring um, with her ID information on it in the event that she goes missing. So what I like to take along is Moxie's knotted leash which has this lovely padded handle, so it's great in the event that she does see something and she pulls me like crazy to go find that cat. And the other thing is her poop bag dispenser. This makes it really easy to carry it along. It attaches to the leash. I don't have to worry about having to take extra bags in my pocket. This just makes it really simple. So that deals with the essentials of having her collar, leash, and poop bag dispenser. So that's sorted. The next thing that you have to think about is how you're gonna carry the food and the water. When we go camping, there's often a lot of bugs around. There's ants that are crawling around, there are insects that love to get into anything that's sweet. So in terms of Moxie's food, normally I'll take her kibble and I'll put it in a dry bag. That allows you to easily just roll it up on the top you can, you can buckle it close and then all of the food just stays in here. It's so much simpler than Ziplocs or having a container. So as she eats her food um, and I have less that I have to carry, it just gives me more space to carry additional things. The other cool thing about it is it makes it simple to add food back into it. So you can easily just open it up. If she didn't finish her kibble for the night, I can just add it back in here, close it up, and then it's not gonna get infested with ants. And then for carrying her water, similar to the dry bag, I carry one of these platypus water bladders. This is really great because again, as she starts drinking the water, this gets smaller and smaller and it leaves me more space to carry things. In terms of how to give her food, we carry these collapsible bowls. These are really cool because they stay really small. They're easy to just open up and then you've got this bowl that you can, you can feed her or put water in. One of the tips and tricks that we have for camping with Moxie so that her food doesn't get infested with ants when it's on the ground is we use both of these bowls. I'll fill this bowl with water and then I'll fill this bowl with her kibble. I'll put it inside and it creates a moat. This way the ants aren't gonna crawl up and into the, her food and get infested. If she does have leftovers, I can put them back in with the rest of the kibble so that it doesn't all get infested. And then for safety, I carry two things. First thing is obviously a first aid kit. In this, it's all of the stuff that I use for myself and Greg, but I also carry additional things for Moxie, like the, the bandages that you can easily wrap around in the event that she had a slice in her paw or something, you can easily wrap it so that she doesn't go after it. Um, I've also got a, a stapler in here. So if there was something that was really serious and she had a huge gash and she needed it to be stitched or stapled, I have a staple gun that will be used for that and that's specifically made for dogs. For her, I also carry her ear drops and her eye drops in the event that she had an infection. The other safety thing is her light stick. So I love these LED collars that they, they're really cheap. You can get them on Amazon. And what you do is at night you can have them on. It's sort of hard to see in the light right now, but they turn on and they give that fluorescent glow to it. They have them in a bunch of different colors. This one's pink. So it just makes it easier for people to see her at night. Um, and it's just a really fun thing. We get a lot of people who ask us about these because it's just so interesting to see it on a dog. And for comfort, we make sure that we carry along her tender paw trekker bedroll. It rolls up, it's really easy to take along with us, and it gives her a sense of home. When we, when we roll it out at the campsite or inside the tent, she knows that's her place. So it just gives her a little bit more comfort. One of the other things that we bring along when we go camping is a lot of rope because you use it for a lot of things. If we want to tie up a tarp or if we need it for something that's around the campsite. So we normally have it on a stake and what we can do is so we can give Moxie a little bit more freedom in places where she needs to stay on a leash is we can put the stake down. We can tie off the amount of rope that we need that we want to give her um, at the top here and then attach the other end to her collar. This just gives her a lot of more flexibility so that she can roam around but then she still is uh, adhering to the campsite rules. You just have to make sure that it doesn't turn into a tripwire and everybody goes flying because they didn't see it. 
So we ride with Moxie and so she's always wearing her goggles when we're on the bike. But they're also great at the campsite because I'm sure you guys know when you go camping with your dog, the bugs go directly to their eyes. The goggles really help to prevent that and it just makes them more comfortable at the campsite. I really hope you guys love this video. I hope it gives you some ideas about what you can take along on your next camping trip with your dog. And if you have something that you think is really awesome that I didn't cover and that you think that we need to have, make sure that you put it in the comments below and I'll love to check it out. Okay, have a good one guys, bye.